I've heard that if you put liquid gallium metal onto aluminium, or aluminum as you may call it, the gallium is sort of absorbed by the aluminium and it forms a new alloy which becomes really brittle and soft. So I thought I'd give it a go with this coke can. I wanted to leave the top closed, so I carefully pierced it with a knife a couple of times to empty out the drink. Then I filled up a syringe with liquid gallium which I had warmed to melting point and made a pool of it on the top of the can like this. It looks really cool and I left it like this for a few hours to see what happened. When I came back the gallium had set and it didn't really look much different. I removed the gallium and it looks absolutely no different from before. I tried pushing it with my finger and a screwdriver and it seems just as strong as it was to begin with. Adding gallium hasn't changed it at all. I had a look at the can and rather than specifying it was made from aluminium, it just says metal, so I wondered if it was an alloy which was unaffected by the gallium. So next I found that this Red Bull can does state it is made from aluminium. So I drained it out into a bowl and repeated the experiment by adding gallium to the top. I let it sit there for a few hours and when I returned and removed the gallium, the can seemed absolutely unaffected. It hasn't been weakened and it's just as strong as it was before. I decided to try one more time, so I emptied a can of Red Bull and a can of Coke again but this time I took some sandpaper and used it to scratch up the surface of the can like this. I did the same to the coke can too, just in case there's a coating on top of the aluminium which stops the gallium from penetrating. I added a drop of gallium to both cans and left it to see what happened. Over the next hour, it seemed to change. It was absorbed into the aluminium and appeared to change the structure. I took the coke can and gave it a poke with my finger. And to my amazement, I was able to poke a hole straight through it. The can had become soft and almost stretchy. you can just sort of tear off the top and roll it up with your fingers. Pretty cool, huh? I kept pulling and removed the whole top. The rest of the structure did appear unaffected. My fingers were covered in this silvery grey coating which is non-toxic and easily washes off with soapy water. Next I had a look at the Red Bull can. There was still a big blob of gallium on the top so I removed that and gave it a poke. And yes, it too had become soft and brittle. Not as much as the coke can, but maybe the area that I sanded down wasn't as big. It's not as flexible as the coke can was. It really is brittle and I can just tear pieces off.
Again, the rest of the can does seem unaffected, but I may have another go soon and try making a whole can which I can just crush and dissolve. I hope you've enjoyed watching this video, if you want to see more you can click on the links or take a look at my YouTube channel page. Stay safe, have fun, and as always, thanks for watching.